Okay, so just getting this wallet on and shooting. And again, somebody called me messy before, but I don't think that's that's not even a bucket full. It's probably a half a bucket of stuff on the ground from this whole wall getting on and straightened. Yeah, and that top there, it's kind of got to be dipping it to go in behind the tiles there. But the point of this video was somebody was asking a good question about curing times. So this was scuttled a while ago, and it was actually probably about, say, a week ago. The Dennis scratch coat was on um, yesterday and straightened, and it's well firmed up. Um, so typically you could scud an old Belfast brick wall like this, something high suction, you could scud it one day, scratch it the next day and actually float it the following day and that would be all good curing for just in between the coats but for it actually curing for like when you go to rub it, obviously scratching doesn't matter so much but when you go to rub this, the time's gonna vary depending on what you put on your scratch coat waterproofers and stuff but so the next of this, probably get this all here, straighten it, take tea, and then maybe start rubbing. So maybe between an hour or 20 minutes before it's nice for rubbing. Hopefully that gives a bit of an idea on that. For inside, when we were scudding and floating, typically I'd like to scud and float the same, well not same day, sorry. Sometimes you can get away the same day, but I'd like to leave it two days between. And then, Normally I would skim it the following day because it's, it dries that quick um, or a day or two, it's not too bad um, and on site, the likes of breeze black walls they normally you would do all your floating and then you would do your sealants so the curing time there is not, not much but then when you talk about painting it, it could be up to four weeks maybe, maybe more, maybe less all depends on airflow and suction and what to put in your mixes to help dry and stuff or to slow it down dry.